Welcome to Eastern Iceland. <laughs> We're Shannon and Jason, owners of Main Street and Beyond Travel Company, a business we're able to run from anywhere in the world. So where are we right now? We are currently making our way around the country of Iceland, the land of fire and ice, in a camper van along their ring road for the next seven days. Be sure to subscribe to follow along with our adventures and join us as we explore Iceland. Okay, welcome to day three in our camper van. We don't really have a plan for today because we've never been to the like far east coast of Iceland here. So we did, well, Jason grabbed us a couple maps so we can look at those. We tried to look up some like sites to see and then we're just gonna hit the road, try to get some drone footage today. But I do wanna let you guys know, um, this campground we're in Hofen, Iceland, it does have a really nice bathhouse and shower, which was nice. So we were both able to finally shower this morning and get freshened up for our day today. just a little bit of a driving this morning and we pulled off because this lake is like filled with swans or maybe it's like an inlet but I was like is are those swans and we think they are they're so pretty okay so we made our way through the east coast it was a beautiful drive you guys saw some of the footage that we inputted but we made our way to this like natural bath here in eastern Iceland and I will put the name of it here because it's very difficult to pronounce and also I'll put the google maps up on it here if you guys want to come here it is just like one little tub and it is very very hot so we did have to wait a little bit for it to clear out here it was pretty crowded when we got here but now it's not <laughs> This was what I was looking forward to in Iceland. It's just finding these literal or little gems, like this little natural hot tub pool here. It is so warm, so hot. And now we're the only ones in here. This is insane. This is excellent. I love it. <laughs> and look at our view. of Iceland. <laughs> it started raining on us so we can't even dry off and so there's no point in putting our clothes on so we're in our swimsuits hiking back to the car and we can't dry off because we cannot find any towels in Iceland so pro nope. tip bring towels or rent them from where you are from or, or don't forget them when you or rent don't them. forget them when we do when we did rent them. <laughs> so we have dish rags to dry off so this has been fun let's go. Okay update we made it back <laughs> <coughs> to the van and we got our swimsuits off I'm in just Jason shorts and hoodie while everything dries with mine and so I think I'm just gonna drive like this for a little bit and then we'll change when we get to the next stop but reality is of being in a camper van in Iceland but it's so worth it it's so much fun for stops like this because that's something we would have never done We have made our way along the east coast and we have ended up in Sidesfjordur. I think I'm saying that right. I'll put the name below like I always do. But this town was made famous by the Rainbow Road leading up to a church here. And they also have some little cute cafes. So we're just going to hang out, spend some time here, get some video, take some pictures, have some food, and explore this cute little uh, town right on the ocean here. Okay, so we ended up in this place called El Grillo Bar and it has um, some house beers that we got, just some house lagers, so cheers. What did you get to eat? She recommended the pork sandwich. Ooh. So I think it's just a marinade with a pork steak sandwich. Everything else is baked potato, so. <laughs> Yum. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. We need the beer. It is. Yeah, I shouldn't say actually. It is really. <laughs> it's just a homemade lager I think, brewed right here. So yeah, fantastic. This it's area awesome. is breathtaking. Yeah. 
I know, it's so cute here. We love it so far. Our food has just arrived. I got their traditional hamburger. It sounded really good. And they come with a baked potato. And then you already told us what you got. They look so delicious. We're expecting these to be very, very good. You want to give yours a bite? You can go for it. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Just as good as you thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What'd you get? Okay, so I got the traditional hamburger. It's got like pepper cheese, a burger on it, lettuce. It does come with tomato and onions, but I asked for those off just because I don't prefer those. But. Good. Delicious. I love this. <laughs> Okay, so we finished up with lunch and now we're going to head into this beautiful church to see what it looks like on the inside. That's so pretty. Okay, the church was beautiful inside, but I didn't want to show you guys too much just out of respect for the church, but it was so pretty. They do accept donations as you guys go in if you want to go in and tour it, but overall, highly recommend this stop along the ring road because it was so cute okay as you guys have known <laughs> we have been struggling to find bath towels for three days now and we think we finally found a spot in so. the capital of the east it's Textiles. called eagle stutter yeah we think we finally found a home goods store to buy bath towels so we don't have to be uh drying off with dish towels anymore because that's how we've been drying off so far and our dish towels are at the end of their use so let's go see if we can finally find some bath towels what do you got honey we see them here they have to be here <laughs> guys i repeat we have found our bath towels and we are so excited to not have to use dish towels anymore <laughs> Are these just like hand towels? I don't even care what they are at this point. Well, $100 later, <laughs> we do have our bath towels. So please, please, please bring bath towels when you come to Iceland if you're doing well, camping. <laughs> rent them and don't forget them. Yeah, because we did rent them and we forgot to put them in the van. So that was our fault. But now we have towels and I'll be here in Iceland a little longer. So I'll be able to keep the towels and use them. So it's really not too bad. But we needed the towels because we ended up at yet another bath house. And this one is right outside of that eastern capital. I was telling you guys about it. It's more like a spot. Like it's very it's nice. So this place is very similar to Disney World because they have their use of magic bands, sort of ish. <laughs> They're just our bottle bath uh, wristbands and they got us into the locker rooms. They lock your locker for you. They let you um, into everything here. So they're really nice. They'll give you these when you come in. And we have a blue one because we bought the premium package which includes a drink with our spa time here. Just look at this. Look at how, let me wipe off the lens. The pools just go right into the lake. That lake is very, very cold, but I think I'm gonna do it. Welcome to Eastern Iceland. Oh my god, oh my gosh. No, I need back in the pool. <laughs> Alright, guess who is next? Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Just go for it. I had to just jump. <gasps> You're crazy. You went under. What? You went under. You're crazy. day exploring the eastern coast of Iceland.
Okay, we got done at the Volk Bass, and we have found our campsite for the tonight, and it was only like a five minute drive, if that, from the Bass, which was really nice before we hit, start hitting Northern Iceland tomorrow. You're trying this uh, Icelandic candy bar. <laughs> what you think? It's good. That's good. I don't know what the little country things in there are, but... I don't know. It tastes like a Kit tasting. Kat, but more chocolate. Yeah, a lot more probably. chocolate okay. is what I kind of, like, related it to. Do you want to. one on grilled cheese sandwich? Do I want one on my grilled yeah. cheese sandwich? No, I'm good. Thank you. That's how the Icelanders eat No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, For dinner in our camper van, we are just kind of having the same thing we did last night. <laughs> Um, and then sometime soon, we are going to give you guys a full like camper van tour. Okay, so it is time for our official happy camper tour that I'm so excited. I've been meaning to do this, but we've been so busy the first few days in our camper van. But this is it. <laughs> this is home sweet home that we've been in for Iceland. I do want to point out some of the key features of the van if you guys would like to do a happy camper van through Iceland too. They do come with these little bins over here. Um, this one has all the silverware, stuff like a spatula, tongs, a uh, knife. It does have a can opener but no wine opener, so be sure to get one of those if you do plan on having some wine while you are here. It does come with a miniature like gas stove here, right? Or what's it? Not gas, but... It's butane. Butane. Okay. Um, it does have a cutting board underneath that. And then in here are a lot of your dishes, such as your plates, bowls, coffee mugs, little cups. We honestly haven't even used these cups. We do use the coffee cups, though. Um, and then you also are going to get, if I can get it open. Um, we did opt to add on a French press coffee maker. Um, honestly, I don't know if this would be needed or not because there's so many gas stations all over Iceland. You can just go in and get some coffee if you don't want to dirty anything up in your van. But if you want to save money on coffee, it's perfect to go ahead and get one of these. Um, it does come with a little pot here, which has been nice. We usually use that to boil the water for our coffee. Um, it does have a sink over here. Um, you just pump up the water like this and it comes out. The water tank is right down here and it's really easy to fill. All you do is put the hose in it and fill it back up. All the campgrounds we've stayed at so far have a water hose to fill up, which has been super nice. Um, we did buy some paper towels, so we have those in the van. And then you also have a little fridge here or cooler that keeps all of your food items cold that you need to. So we've had things like yogurt, cheese, bread, I don't remember what else we've had in here, but we've had a lot. Oh, tomatoes, cucumbers, and they've all stayed really well, which is nice. You do have a little light over here for you, but it is like on the timer for the van, so it does go out. But they do have this light here for you too. It doesn't look too bright right now, but at night it's very bright. <laughs> um, they do have an extra battery here where you can charge things. You don't want to use too much of it though to drain the battery. And then you also have a heater system which is really nice. You can either leave it on high for about four to five hours at night, let the van get nice and warm. Um, and then you can also leave it on low all night long if you want. So you don't want to leave it on high all night long and drain your battery. But yeah, that's like the inside portion of the van here. I do want to show you too, not only can it be a bed, but it's also got storage underneath. So this is where we've been keeping all of our clothes, sheets, and things. Um, it is a little difficult to get them out of there, especially when we kind of put everything on here when we travel. But it hasn't been too bad. We kind of just plan ahead for that and see what we need to get out. One thing I do highly recommend upgrading to or getting when you get here or you can pre-purchase it is an inverter. This thing has helped us a ton because it's got a plug to us, uh, two USB ports and it has been so easy to just plug in and get all of our electronics charged, our cell phones charged. We honestly haven't had any issues this entire trip with having um, low battery on anything. Okay, so when you get your happy camper, you're going to get this happy guide. It's really cool. It's got everything that you need in here. There's um, like a getting starter guide, stove operation, heating system, camping in Iceland, um, grocery and gas locations around Iceland, um, returning the van, changing a tire, literally um, just everything you need for Iceland, which is 
amazing. They've got emergency phone numbers, what's included in your van, helpful links. Um, let's see what else they have. Um, tons of cool like area attractions for wherever you are at. So here's South Iceland. They have some of their partners where you can get discounts at. We didn't go to any of those, but we definitely could have. Um, and just lots of really neat things. It's an overall great guide and definitely just take a little bit of time and check it out before you hit the road when you get your happy camper. Oh, you're right. I'm so buoyant. I can't like just sit. Like I fall and I float. Like I just like, I don't know. I mean, it's good if I'm ever in like a bad situation. But like, look, this is me sitting that I just... Want us to plan your Iceland trip for free? Our travel agency is dedicated to creating customized vacations based on your interests for $0 extra than booking it yourself. Travel companies we work with to create your Iceland adventure include Silver Sea Expeditions, Trafalgar, Contiki, Europe Express, and many, many more. Use the links in our description below to start your Iceland adventure or visit www.mainstreetandbeyondtravel.com slash travel hyphen quote for a free Iceland quote from us today and thank you for watching.